Hey guys, Chris here, and Ethereum was trading for less than $200 less than a year ago. Right now, it reached an all-time high of trading around $2,200. And in this video, I basically want to talk about the new news that's been coming out in regards to Ethereum and to why Ethereum could probably reach $5,000, maybe even $10,000 by the end of the year. As always, I always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I possibly can to make sure you guys are the most up-to-date. And if there's something you like and do enjoy, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out. So without further ado, guys, let's talk about Ethereum. So Ethereum right now, guys, is the second biggest cryptocurrency only behind bitcoin okay they are trading around two thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars and thirty two cents with a market cap of two hundred forty six point six billion dollars with a 24 hour volume of 5.17 billion dollars their market dominance in the whole cryptocurrency realm is 13.03 percent okay obviously the more market dominance is bitcoin because they have a market cap of around 1.1 trillion dollars they have an average supply of 115.4 million in average supply of Ethereum coins. And I found this pretty interesting right here, okay? If you have one Ethereum, which is valued at $2,205.22, it equals 0 0.03687 Bitcoin, okay? I just found that to be pretty cool, and it's probably at the highest price, okay? And in my opinion, Ethereum is the next up-and-coming cryptocurrency next to Bitcoin and I will explain to you guys why I believe that so some of the top Ethereum markets for example where you buy and sell Ethereum you could go to Binance Coinbase, hit BTC and right here uh, number eight I believe is Coinbase we all know that Coinbase is about to start getting traded publicly on the market so this can actually start to help Ethereum and the, these cryptocurrencies that have been picking up a lot of steam Ethereum's all-time high is $2,193.22 and their all-time lows is $0.41. Cents, okay, so when it comes to Ethereum and just we could look at their chart, you can look at just a year ago how they gained 1,244.75% from a year ago. They're trading for around $158, okay, so if anybody got into it, around april 14 of last year you guys have made some crazy 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 gains all right that is a, a like a 10x return in the past three months it's basically doubled in a lot of investors money with a 99.71 percent returns the past month still has been doing good and it's been doing pretty dang solid at 17.53 percent in the past week it's still going up and it's just a keep on continuing okay ethereum has been on a rampage as of late because they have been making up a lot a lot a lot of moves ethereum reaches new all-time high of two thousand and two hundred dollars all right and this was released on saturday april 10th at 9 a.m in the morning okay one of the biggest things that when it comes to ethereum is that ethereum is always being compared to bitcoin because bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency out there and ethereum has always been that second place one okay but now that the whole cryptocurrency realm has been picking up a lot of steam for example ripple has passed one dollar for the first time in three years which is pretty incredible now ethereum has reached an all-time high bitcoin has been reaching all-time highs now cryptocurrencies doesn't really seem like a bad investment right now there has to be some reason that why ethereum has been moving up in a rampage all right ethereum has also been boosted by the recent news that one of the largest multinational financial service companies in the world is using the network okay and that financial service company is visa visa is now settling transactions with usd coin on ethereum okay now that is very very huge moving forward for ethereum and all of cryptocurrencies visa announced it will allow the use of usd coin stable coins to settle transactions on its payment network the company is launching a pilot program with payment in crypto platform crypto.com with plans for partners later on in this year okay but ethereum is the very first partner that visa has been getting okay so what's going to happen is crypto.com is going to offer visa cards so after receiving the card users can make typical payments and top up their balance by buying more cryptos okay so the this is actually going to help the crypto native companies evaluate fundamentally new business models without the need for traditional fiat and their treasury and sediment workflows so this is basically going to expand the horizons to how businesses can actually make payments make them quicker make transactions and just have a better understanding of this new world that many banks are trying to go up in right now when it comes to cryptos guys Bitcoin is the more famous one, right? Bitcoin's being accepted by 
Apple is used by PayPal. It's being even accepted by Tesla. So Bitcoin is being, you know, the, the number one player right now. But just by Visa having Ethereum on their network and be, just being partnered up with just Ethereum, that is very big because Visa has a lot of card transactions. So if Ethereum can make it easier and faster for, for transactions to happen, many people will start to buy into Ethereum as well. There are even some analysts that even though Ethereum just reached its all-time highs, still has an additional 20% upside to the prices that it currently is right now. Yes, is, this article is talking about some sort of resistance of around the 168% mark of returns, right? But if it does pass that resistance, Ethereum could easily reach $3,253 according to this report, gaining an extra 261.8% returns on investors' money, okay? But again, when it comes to like cryptocurrencies and stuff like that, when you do invest into cryptos, you must always take everything with a grain of salt because cryptos is probably one of the most volatile things out there in the market right now, okay? But if you guys could hold the long term, you could kind of just see the actual transaction to how things are moving people are you know buying more more bitcoin people are buying more ethereums people are falling in love with cryptos and it's, it's not just a movement for the moment it's actually been you know happening for a while now and more and more people are starting to buy into it celebrities are buying into bitcoin celebrities are buying into ethereum for example nfts you buy them through ethereum a lot of celebrities rather pre prefer ethereum rather than bitcoin nowadays because of their nfts and that's very very powerful because that's also benefiting ethereum as well and when coinbase starts getting traded on the market that's also going to push the name of ethereum out for other people that don't know what the heck ethereum is or what they do so that's actually going to help out as well and with the partnership it has with visa guys it's going to make things a lot faster and a lot easier for ethereum to basically you know shoot up a market cap right now like i was saying they have the second biggest market cap they're ranked number two only behind bitcoin okay but you could just see the type of market cap it has right now 246.34 billion you can easily see this crypto doubling by the end of the year and having a 500 billion dollar market cap and competing with bitcoin okay it, it's really going to be competing with bitcoin i don't see it falling down to the three or four spot i will always see it as number two or number one long term all right but right now ethereum is the second place only behind bitcoin and that's going to be only temporary because by the end of the year, I am in a way predicting that it could probably even double and be around five thousand dollars. And that'll be a pretty good, you know, return for a lot of crypto investors or investors that have actually have been into, you know, cryptocurrencies and Ethereum for a very, very long time. Especially if you got into this price point right here around last year, around April, and that's just this huge, huge return. You can just see that this is like it's like the Mount Everest of cryptos right here all right so and you could just only see that it will keep on continuing continue to keep on propelling and gaining more and more gains all right and the only year to date it started the year off in january 1st 730 dollars all right a return of 192.4 percent that's a pretty darn good returns for anything for even if it's a stock or a rental property or REITs or whatever type of investment 192 percent return is a pretty darn good investment okay but can this you know momentum be sustainable well i believe so because the more partnerships it has and the more people that are actually getting interested in cryptos and ethereum and what actually was going on with nfts ethereum can only go up from here i do not see ethereum going back down to a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars I do see, you know, passing $2,500 each and every week will have a new all-time high and more all-time highs. So that's going to be very, very beneficial moving forward and long term. All right, guys. So that's basically the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out. And if you guys want to be part of the journey, please remember to also subscribe down to the channel. It does help out as well. All right, guys. Let me know down in the comment section whether or not you guys believe in Ethereum long term or you guys are just completely you know not interested in cryptos let me know down below in the comment section as well all right guys so thank you all for watching salutes to you all have a great day or a great night and peace out have a great day bye